Today is another good day to play in solo queue. And if you haven't been using this function of holding down with your finger on each of the player slots, then you're missing out. Because right now, I can clearly see that every one of my teammates is either a mage user or a marksman user. So yeah, with that brilliant function, I am able to see even before the game starts that we are screwed. See, nobody's showing assassins or tanks and we got a Chang A in the slot 5. And slot 1 is of course picking a mage. So I guess nobody's gonna be playing tank or jungler. I guess I'm gonna have to choose jungler this time because I have faith that our slot 5 will follow the golden rule. And of course solo queue is the best place to lose all hope in humanity. Because instead of having a tank we have another mage in our 5th slot. So this should be really interesting especially when I only have 8 matches total with a Mongus. And now that we are in the game we're just gonna mind our own business and jungle of course. It's a good thing one of our teammates picked Claude because um, yeah we're really overflowing with magic damage in our lineup. Maybe I should use my retribution now. We'll have some time to let it cool down before the turtle comes up anyways. But if I didn't do that, then I could have secured that walking salad. Yeah, that was a bad decision. Am I right, Ricky? And hopefully the bad decisions stop at that because right now I think we're making a good decision by bursting this Johnson or at least trying to because he has a vengeance. So that officially sucks and now it's even suckier. So far, so bad. That's actually the worst kind of early game that we could have, but there's nothing else to do but go back to the jungle and get our blue buff so we can catch up in cooking the turtle soup next to what seemed to be an annual mages in the bush convention. And it looks like Gushin is not invited this year. So I'm not sure if this is a good time to take this turtle, especially when there's a car crash happening nearby. But it looks like one of the passengers survived, so Silvano is here to fix that. Good job. Meanwhile, the car is running away without a driver, and that can also be fixed. Speaking of fix, I need my turtle soup fixed right now, so why don't we go ahead and waste our ultimate on this turtle soup. And it was totally unnecessary, but it looks cool, so that's okay. Meanwhile, here in the top lane, we see the same people that got me killed earlier. Well, this time, we are not gonna target Johnson. We're going to focus Beatrix and also target Johnson anyway because he's already low HP. Hey, where's Ricky? Oh, he's there. Wanna see a cool trick, Ricky? There we go. I hit your face, I turn invisible. I'm pretty sure that Ricky was amazed by that. In fact, he's so amazed that he sent the entire enemy team against me. I like Ricky's sense of humor. You know that that was only a joke, right? You know that I was kidding. No need for that thing to happen again, right Ricky? Because what needs to happen right now is for us to help our teammate here. Hmm, we're too late, but we can always focus Johnson. I mean, I shouldn't really be focusing tanks all the time, but he's always low HP and I really love auto-targeting. And now since Gushin died while I was talking about Johnson, this turtle, we're gonna be taking it for free. And of course, after turtle soup, we can have dessert. Maybe this cockroach in the jungle. Hmm, pretty salty. I think this Windy Abs is up to something. Let's follow him. Oh, I see he was trying to save Eudora, his mage buddy. Well, we couldn't save her, but we can at least take down two enemies to make her feel important. Hey, uh, Monkey Marksman, do you think it's a good time to take down this Lord? I'm not sure about your damages, but we gotta get out of here. I don't want to get hit by that Aldous while I'm doing the Lord. And there's also a car crash around here somewhere. We got Aldous here, we got Johnson here, and we have a Beatrix who wanted to get close to us with her shotgun. Are you really sure about that? Alright, where did the others go? Okay, Selena's definitely here because she has a trap there and will she be escaping? Not if I waste my retribution on her. Now we can't take the Lord. What we can take though is the opportunity to help our teammates in securing our kill. 
Okay, so maybe right now is a good time to take the Lord because we just killed Johnson. There's not gonna be any Johnson ulting his way here, but of course they have a substitute for Johnson, another hero who can go anywhere he likes in a couple of seconds. And in a couple of seconds, he's going to murder my entire team if we don't put a stop on him. Nice work team, and Beatrix, I have something to tell you. I forgot what it is. Shut up Beatrix, I remember now. Hey Ricky, you're still not mad at me about earlier, right? Um, look, here, another magic trick. Ta-da! We're good now, right? Yeah, no hard feelings, bro. It was just a prank, like this. So uh, yeah, the Lord is still here because every time I try to take it, the enemies interrupt me. So how about we thin out their numbers? And that makes them four enemies alive and this Beatrix uh, immediately died to Eudora. So that's good. Three enemies that might take the Lord from us. Hmm, maybe that's enough. And with our teammates distracting the enemies from going here, we are able to secure our Lord. But the team fight is not over because Knife Boy is still on the run and now he's in the afterlife. And Aldous is on his way to punch the living heck out of our Windy Boy. Hmm, not sure if we can get this guy but I think we can totally not do that because the entire enemy team is already here. But that is fine, we needed the break from all the action anyway, so we can go back to clearing our jungle, so we can take revenge on the first enemy that we see. Shut up Gushin, nothing business, just personal. Uh oh, one punch guy, please, no, not me. If you have targeted Veil, you wouldn't have been knocked up, but he has backup. Oh, okay, that was uh, close, and this is even closer. Okay, I'm totally gonna die here, but Veil always lands very nice knockups. He's really good at knocking up people. Gotta get tips from this guy. Tips about not dying. Okay, never mind. Maybe not ask him about that. The problem right now is all of the enemies are alive and they might be taking the Lord. Okay, Selena's arrow came from that direction. So we really don't have any choice. I'm just gonna go and clear my jungle while the enemies take the Lord. And also, let's try to keep our towers alive for a little longer, shall we? A tower with 1 HP is still better than no tower. Shut up Gushin, I was checking out my teammates in the middle lane. And Mr. Windyabs, my hero. Let me finish him though, he needs to pay for that ambush. Wow, I didn't know Roaming Veil vale could be so annoying for the enemy team. Just focus on clearing up lanes guys and just wait for them to um, do what they're doing right now. They're charging in, what the heck? This Aldous and Spitting Lady, they're they are both crazy. I wouldn't jump in into a Eudora and Veil even if I was playing a tank. So three of the enemies dead, maybe we can push. Our three other teammates are defending the base anyway. Just focus on the tower, Claude. Just don't mind this big hunk of metal who was actually distracting us because the enemies were surrounding us. Good job, Johnson. I guess you distracted us. It worked. Good job team, I can see that our mages are getting too bursty now for the enemies and we, I saw that Beatrix, come out or a veil will knock you up in public. Sorry I couldn't stop him, hopefully he'll give you child support. So three of the enemies are dead and this Johnson's in our way again, it's too bad for him because I'm still ignoring him, I'm only after the tower. Uh oh, I don't want to get punched by that overly exercised right arm guy. Shut up Aldous, your punching days are over and I am too low to risk my life. I don't think the game's going to end yet because we haven't really taken down any other lane aside from the middle lane. So this might be a good opportunity to take down this lord while most of the enemies are dead. Oh actually Johnson is driving here. Guys can someone body block that guy? There we go. We can just take care of him, just focus on killing him because I don't want to risk giving the enemy the lord. Shut up knife boy, please. Ah, he's really after me, isn't he? I mean, it's not like he didn't try his best. It's just that our teammates are really good at protecting our damage dealers, which is all of us because we're all damage dealers. So I guess we're just protecting each other and I couldn't protect that Eudora though. I need someone to save me here though and who else is going to save us but Super Veil. This dude is really looking super cool in my eyes right now. I don't know how many times he's done it but he's saved me a lot of times. 
But who's going to save him now? Himself, of course, because I can't deal without Aldous. So hopefully the Aldous will just chase me instead so that he can escape because I need to pay him back for all the times he saved me. And it seems to be working. Just beam me up, chicken. Fast. It doesn't look like the enemies are trying to do Lord because they're here in the middle lane getting badly injured. So I guess that's my signal to go in and go out because I don't see any more enemies. But right now this Beatrix is having a bad time. I guess she couldn't wait for Johnson or Aldous to engage. Like right now, our Veil's getting targeted by both Aldous and Johnson. But why did I jump in? I don't know. Hopefully we still live to tell our grandkids of all the wrong decisions we made including that one. And also all the right decisions that we're making. Like, I don't know if this is included. This might be a wrong idea, but if we can burst it down, maybe, just maybe, we can get this lord for free because the enemies are still busy defending their base while we're busy trying to not die and secure our lord. Okay, maybe we can sneak just right next to the lord. We're not directly behind it so that the enemies can see us anyway because of all this ultimate. So I guess we'll just expose ourselves here right in the mid lane and wait and see if we can burst that Johnson who has vengeance. Why do I never learn? I guess I'm just tired of bursting squishy heroes because they die so fast. But let's forget about that because it's time to focus on getting to the right position to take our victory selfie. You lord, why couldn't you count to three or maybe say cheese or something? Yeah, it's probably my fault. I was low HP and I didn't take the risk. But that is fine. We are now able to say that we have played Amon nine times total in our entire lifespan. Not sure why I don't see this guy much in my games, but he still feels bursty. I guess it's because other assassins can deal the same type of burst damage while also having dash skills. While this guy just runs around really fast while semi-hidden or semi-invisible just like Leslie. But I still had fun playing him of course. And I hope you too had fun watching this Amon game. So again, my name is Shinman Takazo. Thank you for watching these videos. Hit like if you enjoyed this game. Check out our recent uploads for the many and different heroes we played in the past. And if you want to see me play a specific hero, Feel free to search in YouTube for Shedman plus the hero name. And always remember to stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourself, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.